Hello, hello. We are just talking about how low energy we feel right now. I don't know if it's the weather around here. It's sort of rainy and it has been all week, which I normally love. Uh, but my kids, I'm even having to like wake them up in the mornings and normally they're knocking on my bathroom door when I'm in the shower. Um, so we suggested, you know, to bring six lits back into, <laughs> into the live to get yeah. our party started. Yeah. Yeah. We can have a little, was that Monday? I think, no, that was last, last Wednesday. That was, yeah. That was last week. Saying, it feels like longer than a week or Monday. A couple but days. It's yeah. It's been a weird week. Anyway. Fun day. We've had lots and lots and lots of crafts, um, that we've done this week. Um, lots of crafts we should have taught tallied it up we uh, should have tanner came in <clears throat> it was at the beach last week so he hadn't been here and then yesterday yeah yesterday was the first day that he had been in the office and he came in to the craft room and he was like holy <laughs> he wouldn't say crap because he hates crap but uh i don't remember what he said he was just absolutely amazed by how many crafts were just laying everywhere they're like, just yes, we've actually been busy they're just tossed Yes. Every, we just don't have any space for absolutely all of everywhere. So, how are you guys? Um, I'm excited about this cute little project today. We've had several projects uh, that were sort of wedding themed. From that, uh, was it May? That wedding cut file collection launch. I think it was in. May. I think it was April. Was it April? You're right. It was April because I made these at my house during our stay at home. Um, Anyway, this is one of those, and I really like this project because it's sort of an evergreen project. Like, it is a wedding-themed project, but you could use this in your house all the time. It's not 100%. like... 100%. Yeah. And then the way that this is, this little sign comes off. This is really heavy, so I don't want to, like, break it. But you could change this out and do different signs right here if you wanted to, or even the wreath. Like, if you wanted to do a more, like, evergreen Christmas wreath or holly wreath or something like that then you can definitely change that out there. Um, so this is just a fun project, super cool. And as you can see, it has the shiplap back there. If shiplap is not your thing, then just use regular plywood and have a nice flat looking finish. That's amazing. What have we got going on? Do we have any questions yet? Any comments that need to be addressed? I don't see any Anything. yet. I see Miss Shannon here. She says, hello from Knoxville. Oh, you are Knoxville. very close to us, Miss yes. Shannon. Hello neighbor. But everybody, Sunday. everybody thinks, thinks, I think they're all doing good. Love your hair color, Shannon says. Thank you. That is so sweet. Okay, great. Um, so as far as, I always like to like kind of start out with the business part, you know, the promotions, what we've got going on, that sort of thing. And um, right now, what we have going on. Obviously, we always have our amazing membership for Makers Gonna Learn, which gets you access to all of these cut files and fonts that we use on all of these projects, um, in addition to so many other things. But the thing that I wanna talk about right now is our summit, our summer summit. Um, and it is on sale for $20 off using code MAKE, M-A-K-E, and it gets you access to all sorts of amazing projects that will get you ready for fall. So our summer uh, summit, we like to highlight fall and sort of Thanksgiving, Halloween-ish, fall uh, project. So like I said, it gets you ready for that. It's super fun. It kind of amps up the season for us. And um, 10 projects, that makes it $177 with that discount. So that's $17.70 per course. That is so cheap. We say this all the time. Like, I, I can't even wrap my head around that. That is so... <laughs> So cheap. You guys Where are can you go and get, a... Yeah, any course for $17.70. Not to mention that pass to Summer Summit gets you access to a whole entire weekend of crafting with us. That's super fun. It's the, the energy is so fun. Just the banter back and forth, um, the laughing, the giveaways. We do all sorts of wonderful giveaways in the middle of Summit. We generally give you a sneak peek of what is coming up um, for like a new release or a new course or I have no idea actually what we're releasing this time we've got so much going on um but anyway it gives you just like a insider sneak peek look at that and um it's a fantastic time of crafting so use the code make m-a-k-e get twenty dollars off come craft with us come learn some awesome new wonderful tips tricks techniques and projects to get you ready for fall 
So, Becca, we have a question. Let's hear it. Miss Erica said, how long start to finish did this project take you the first time? I'm going to be honest, Erica. I made this almost three months ago. I can't remember. And it was at home. So my kids were there. And I think I remember cutting some of these pieces before I even left the studio to take it home because I don't have a table saw at home or a, a circular saw or any type of saw. Um, I would say to stain it, paint it, and do everything you're looking at. No, now, not including dry time because obviously I don't want to count for that, but you could get it done in an hour, start to finish in an hour, easy. Well, I mean, we're gonna do it here. I've already stained and painted this, so you'll see. I mean, honestly, this right here is just HTV. You don't have to do any manipulation to the cut file in Design Space, and I'll show you that in a, in a second, unless you want to. Um, and then this was super easy to glue together and put on there, so it's gonna be a quick project. It's gonna be fun. Rachel, that code isn't working, said it's invalid. Oh no, she was asking about the um, discount code. I, I For think Cricut? Oh, for Amazon. Oh, Crystal, I'm sorry. I thought you meant for Cricut. I didn't even basically read that right. So all you have to use is a special link that we give you. Mm -hmm. So that is also down in the description. Or if you click any link in the description and then just go to the product you wanted to purchase, uh, then that will give us that credit. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. I misunderstood, my dear. Ms. Nicole said, how long do we have to get the summit ticket for the weekend crafting? So you can buy the ticket up until that day even. You can, you can still purchase summit tickets after that day. But um, we actually had some people buy that morning. Um, even um, there is no like cutoff for that. So yeah. now there is on the coupon. Yes, so there is on the coupon. So if you want to get sure. the deal, yes. the sooner the better. Yeah, that's an excellent point, Rachel. Excellent point. What other? I thought I saw something else. Did I see something else? Let me see. There was a. Oh, Miss Ashley said hello from New Orleans. Absolutely love all the resources you all provide, and I'm looking forward to becoming an annual member. Yes! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So, do you have a Cricut machine already? Are you already a crafter, or are you just joining us in anticipation of getting a machine? I'm dying to know that. Let us know. Yes. There's Super a very fun. intimate less than a hundred here with us today, so don't be scared to ask all of your crafty questions. Let yeah. us know uh, what you want to chit chat about. What you've got. I would like to talk about today because we're all yours here. Bobby said, newbie here. I made the message in a bottle you showed the other day and I'm in love. Thank you. Can't wait for today's project. How fun. So Bobby, had you done um, a project with the etching cream before or was that your first round with the etching cream? I want to know. Etching cream is fun. It is. It's it really a lot is. easier than you guys think. I was scared of it at first though. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, you could mess up, but if you do your stencil right, then no problem. Okay. Um, it looks like we're good. I think I've caught up with questions and comments and everything. So just shoot your questions. Rachel will interrupt me. It's no big deal. There's, like I said, the design space element of this is not very extensive. Who got paint all over this keyboard? Oh, that's not paint. That's super glue. And it was Courtney. Threw her right under the bus. Sorry, Courtney. I love you. Actually, no, Courtney. I do love you. Maybe this will give me a new keyboard mouse. Oh my gosh. Bring out more super glue, Rachel. <laughs> I should. Oops. Oh, no. Look what so we did. So sorry. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. I love Courtney. Okay. This is the cut file that we're using. Like I said, it is from the uh, wedding cut file collection. There it is. Um, and then you'll see these little squares here that I've put in here. If you guys have crafted with Makers Gonna Learn at all, you know exactly what they are. For those of you who are uh, new to Makers Gonna Learn, I'm gonna just give you a brief reason why we do this. So uh, when you're creating in Design Space and trying to size your uh, cut file and your, you know, your, your project, you need to size it to the um, to fit on your blank or whatever you're putting it on. And so, uh, you know, you can look at your frame and say, hey, I think a three inch decal would look really cute on that or whatever. And then you cut it out, put it on there and you're like, man, that's way too small or man, that's way too big. Um, and you could even use a um, measuring tool to kind of see, uh, you know, get your frame, see if three inches is on there. And for whatever reason, sometimes it still just does not come out right. It doesn't, uh, I don't know. So what we like to do is measure our blank. Um, this gray piece right here, 
is a representation of the back frame that we have. Um, actually, I need to change that because the frame that we're gonna be using today is a little bit bigger. So we're at 21.5 inches on that frame. And then this white is the smaller frame. So it's a representation of the smaller frame. And it is actually seven inches, not eight inches. So those dimensions were for my other frame. Um, so I've got that. And now I can, I'm gonna center these just because I'm OCD like that. Um, now I can size this cut file based off of the size of this white square because that is the size of the frame that we're putting it on. So all I have to do, first of all, this is a smaller cutout, so I wanted to get rid of Song of Solomon 3-4 just so that there's more space. Um, and to do that, I can do that a couple of different ways. I have this layer highlighted, so I can go over to Contour. I can press Contour, can scroll down here, and then I can click each individual one of these and contour them out. Now, it will take quite a bit of time to do that because there are so many different ones. Um, I'll just leave that right there and you can see how they're contoured out. So um, if I were doing one of these words that was all connected together, then it would just been one click and done. Instead, I wanna grab a square over from Basic Shapes, bring it over here, size it to cover Song of Solomon 34, but nothing else. Whatever I'm covering with this Basic Shape, I'm getting ready to slice out and so it will be removed from the cut file. So, um, Make sure that's just covering the part that you want to remove. And then you have um, that basic shape selected and you have your cut file selected. Um, so you can drag and, uh, drag and select both of them that way or you can have one selected, press shift, and then select the other. There's a couple different ways to select all of them. Um, then you just go over to the right hand menu at the very bottom where it says slice and we're gonna slice that out. And slice is basically like a cookie cutter. Um, so it just cuts out and if we had wanted to, we could have kind of done a reverse type thing and delete that. And then we have this left, which is pretty neat if you wanted that. So that's a way that you can do things. Um, but I didn't want any of that. So I'm just going to delete all of it. And this is what I have left. So, um, oop, getting carried away there. Now all I need to do is just size this down so that it fits on that, uh, white square just like this, and I'm gonna leave the lock ratio um, just because it sort of has a square look anyway, and I think it just looks really nicely. Um, size that down just like this. Once I'm happy with it, which I am happy with that, I can hide these layers because I don't need to cut them out. Uh, they were just for reference. I'll press make it. And then I will mirror my image because I am using HTV today. So I would mirror my image, press continue, uh, connect to my maker and then I'm going to select everyday iron-on as my material because I am using everyday iron-on which is also known as HTV for anyone who might be new. So I select that um, and then I just cut it out and that is it in Design Space. It is super super easy. Um, we can switch over to our overhead camera and kind of just quickly talk about the supplies that we're going to be using today. I have, let me zoom out a little bit this project's just sort of big. Um, this is our already made one, so I'm gonna kind of toss it in the floor to give me more space. Oh, do we have any questions about any of that before I move on? I don't wanna overlook. Nothing from Design Space, but Miss Page did say, I missed the beginning about the Summer Summit. Will you be talking about that again? I'll talk about it right now, Miss Page. Are there any specific questions that you have about it? Or I can just ramble and talk about it. Um, or I can do both. So Summer Summit is, I wish I had, we don't have any completed project. Yeah, we do. Do we want to show a completed project? Are you talking about? I don't have a picture of it though, do I? No, not yet. Mm, maybe next week I'll have some pictures and we can show some completed projects for you guys. Would you guys like that? I'm sure you would. I think <laughs> we did that last time. I think Becca. We did popped it on 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 here and went through a slideshow and got you all hyped i always up. like to give sneak peeks because it just makes you guys super excited about what we're doing yeah, yeah. okay so anyway summer summit is 10 projects um that are start to finish tutorials we give you a supply list a very detailed supply list and then we literally it depends on how 
how tedious the project is, but most of them are between 30, 30 to 60 minute videos. So they're in-depth videos that show you, like I said, start to finish how to complete a project. Yeah. And they're not just like one step projects where you, you know, have a frame and you put your, your vinyl or HGV or whatever on it. And it's not like lives where we're talking like chit chat. There's no the selling. There's no, no. It's just yeah. the in depth craft. So yeah. I know I am personally making a massive. I can give you kind of some hints. A massive wall clock that has planters on it. Um, it is the coolest thing ever. I got a, a uh, inspired by decor stills. Um, they have this, I mean, it's a 27 inch wall clock and then it has terracotta pots on it that we put some vinyl on and then you can decorate the pots and it has a functioning clock. So that's really fun. I'm very excited to do that project. And then my other project, what is my other project? Oh, I'm going to be doing an applique pillow with you guys. So we're going to be cutting out the fabric, um, on our maker and, um, you could probably use bonded fabric on your ear too, too, actually. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you're going to be cutting out a um, file on your machine, and then I'm going to just walk you guys through applique. So that's fun. Yeah, and, and that's then, like two of ten. Yeah, you know, and they're over the the course of two days. It's a weekend. Yeah, and it's virtual, so you're in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to pay for travel or airfare or a hotel or a conference ticket or anything. Yeah, whenever you get the summit ticket, that is that's your all access. You're in, uh, and it really doesn't matter if you miss that weekend. You guys still get those classes forever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're live over the course of two days, a Saturday and a Sunday from. It's like 10 o'clock Eastern to 3 or 4 right. p.m. And we just hang out. We say welcome. We answer questions. Whoever's teaching the class that you're watching at the moment is the one who's answering all of the questions in the chat, which is really awesome. So you get your live questions answered. And then we're here and popping in, giving you guys uh, some giveaways. We have little breaks and like a lunch time and stuff. It's really fun. It, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced, you know, but. It is so much fun. Yeah. And, and I, we kind of mentioned it. They are pre-recorded. Um, so that gives us just more freedom to, just chat in between um, kind of like we're doing now um, or types chat answer questions just you know talk back and forth in the middle of them um, it, it's just a really 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 good time uh, being fairly new and very intimidated by my maker and joy is the summer summit beyond me it is absolutely not beyond you um, like I said from from start to finish these tutorials are just basically sp spelled out for you all um, I I think honestly, summits are really good for newbies because it gives you so many different techniques and different mediums being used. So you can kind of get an idea uh, for how to use lots of different products and materials. Um, and then it gives you inspiration for a variety of different projects. So I honestly would recommend it for a new person. Um, what is that, the diameter of the wreath outside? Hmm, good question. Let's see. This is so heavy, guys. I, I'll show you the back of it in a second. I, we had just moved here, and it was right at stay at home. And so I made this with wood that we had, and it is like it's not. That's not so plywood. Thick. I don't. Yeah. Okay. The dimensions are. It's right at 14 inches. Good question. Okay. So suppose I hope. Hopefully, I answered some questions for some of Yeah. Feel um, free to ask as many as you'd yeah. like. Yeah. Continue to. Okay. Um, I meant miss some of, oh, I might, oh, live of some Sunday Studio Church. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to miss church that day too. Well, we all are. Um, but you can rewatch for sure and then join in when you get home. Yeah. But okay. there's really not, no better days to do it. I mean, we can't yeah, do it on like no. a Friday, Saturday, and we don't want to try and jam pack 10 classes in one day for you all. That's just that's exhausting. That's crazy. So yeah. you do get them forever and ever, which is amazing. So you can rewatch as many times as you want, or if something comes up where you have to move your vacation or, you know, an emergency happens, it's not like you miss out and you lose on that money because you still get those classes to watch. So yeah. that's good. Okay. So for supplies for this, project I have um, a little frame here and the dimensions of it are ten and a quarter by ten and a quarter and the inside is seven by seven and then I also have this is just plywood regular plywood nothing has been done to it except one very light coat of uh, chalky couture uh, everlasting mm -hmm. everlasting yeah. white paint 
and I did it really thin um, so that it sort of looks farmhousey and not super finished. Um, okay, so I have that. And then I have black HTV. You could use regular vinyl on this for sure. If you prefer regular vinyl, use regular vinyl. If you like HTV, use HTV. So I do already have it cut out here. Um, I'm gonna be using my Easy Press. I've got my glue gun. And then I have these magnolia leaves. So um, I don't know if you guys have priced magnolia wreaths at all. They are not cheap. The ones at Hobby Lobby, I have a couple in my bedroom at home. And I think full price, they're like $59, which is insane to me. Um, especially for this specific project, because you're just going to be squishing a frame on most of it. So I love the idea of just getting this bundle of magnolia leaves and sort of creating my own type of wreath. This bundle uh, was $17.99, so of course we got it 50% off, which makes it way more affordable than the actual wreaths that you can get. Um, another cool thing, if you had like a magnolia tree, you could definitely use real leaves and kind of make your own wreath. Now, of course, they will turn eventually, but uh, I still think it would look really cool. So we've got that, and then we have our larger frame and um, backing. This frame is huge. I'm and I'm going to drop the link to the frame masterclass. Yeah. That is where you can learn to make these frames. This finished frame is 24 by 24. And then um, I have shiplap on the back. So all I did was we have, I need to show them a picture of our frame wall. Ooh, they would love yeah. that. You guys would be so jealous. Oh my gosh. We have this whole entire wall in one of our rooms that is a pegboard and it has all these adorable, or not adorable, but all of these little peg thingies. And so we have finished frames and backs, um, tons of them that are already cut out and are on this wall. It is like, a dream it's amazing anyway so I just took the back of one of our finished um, frames and cut it using our miter saw um, into these strips of wood so that we could have um, the shiplap look now you'll see not all of them are the same width and that is my personal choice I just prefer them not to be really uniform and even um, the first frame that I did, it is more uniform and even because the wood was just that wide and then I just, I cut the length of it. Um, this is my preference to have them, um, not the same width. And then all we're going to do, um, is use our staple gun. And I'm sure Rachel has the link to this down below. You guys always ask about our staple gun because this staple gun is really cool. Um, you don't have the pieces right here where your hand can kind of get stuck and pinched, which is nice. And then um, it doesn't take a lot of strength and effort, hand strength or anything to get this to actually work. So uh, this staple gun is amazing. If you don't have one, invest in this one. It's really good. Um, so let's start with just ironing on my easy presses it turned off on me because i talked too long imagine that nothing wrong with that imagine that so what we're gonna do um you could do you could put this on and then you could attach the back i however do not recommend that because what if you accidentally um don't center it well or you know i i personally just like to put the backs on first and then stick this on it's easier you don't it's, it's more foolproof in my opinion i think we so all you do, do that. Rachel? yeah we all recommend doing that it's just it's easier yeah so i'm just gonna put the back on um put some staples in it's super loud there's nothing i can do about it It's echoing even more because our bathroom door is open in here. <laughs> okay. So we have that. Then all I have to do is center this. I'm going to pull it toward me. Sorry if you can't see it. It's hard because this table is so high. When I came in here earlier, because Courtney's been filming, uh, the table was really low. And I thought, hey, maybe I should, maybe I should do that. Tiny, just little low. Itty bitty. She's so little. She's so teeny tiny, I'm She's telling you. She's so ya. cute. Okay. And Michaela said, joining late, what did I miss? A lot of talk. Yeah. <laughs> I 
a lot of talk. We went through our supplies, which are listed down below for you. I'm sure you already know because you are a regular. Um, and we just went into Design Space. This is a cut file that um, is from our wedding collection. And then I just took, it has Songs of Sol Song of Solomon 4-3 or 3-4. I've already forgot the reference. Um, down at the bottom. And I just sliced that off and then cut it out. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what you missed. <laughs> Uh, my easy press is uh, heated up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I like to start in the middle. I have discovered if you start in the middle and go and kind of push out from all directions, that tends to work better on wood. Have you found that to be true, Rachel? Have you yeah. ever tested that theory? Okay. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so like if I started here and then went here, then you run the risk of there being bubbles in the middle and it sort of lifts that way. And um, it's like the transfer sheet uh, gets hot and kind of warps a little uh -huh. and that'll kind of make a difference too. Uh -huh. So start in the middle and then push your way out. I know, I feel really bad. I saw some comments on our Facebook group the other day about people having so much trouble with HGV on wood. And that just makes me sad because we... In general, I'm not saying all the time, because we definitely, I mean, I, I did that family sign and struggled for like an hour and 20 minutes on a live the other day. Uh, but in general, we have really good success with HTV on wood. So that is one tip that I can give you all. The other tip is make sure if you stain or paint your wood to give it ample time to dry so that you're not fighting any moisture that might be in the wood. Um, what are some other great tips for HTV on wood, Rachel? Can you think of any? Oh, use, I a, have a, use the, an easy press for one. Oh, well, the yeah. The mini easy press. If you use the, the larger. The baby. Yeah. 100%. If you use the larger, then a lot of times um, it's, it's flatter for one. It covers more surface area, but you're not getting into any like grooves, nooks and crannies that are in the wood. Um, sorry, I cut you off. What was your other one? No, I was going to say that I have been replying and and don't remember what you've said or oh, okay. i would chime in yeah well then you just let but me in, know and if you reiterate then in you the know hopes of point. not repeating you i'm sure you've covered the bases but uh many easy presses 100 percent uh did you all say make sure that your stainer paint is really dry I did. that's see? See? a good go. point yeah see? but look that came off i didn't even have to touch anything else because um it just transferred so well oh, i love it okay um, what are we going to do next? I'm trying to decide what order to do things in. Let's go ahead and put our ship lap on the other frame. Guys, this project is almost done. Is that not crazy? I mean, I still have to do this wreath thing, but that's quick. It's, this is really just painting, staining, and stapling. Yeah. Oh, well, I do have a fun challenge. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. I did not look to see... Um, if I had any hardware for the back of that little frame to hang with. And so I didn't have what I used at home. We're going to be using this. It's a little C hook and a little I hook. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be fine. If not, then you guys can have a good laugh with me and then learn from my mistake. Okay. We have our massive mega frame here. I can't zoom out for you guys to see all of it. So um, I'm going to do one side and you can see. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, when you're placing your shiplap, just make sure that you're not putting all of like one size together, just it, unless they're all the same size. If they're all different sizes. Wow, Rachel, you have been commenting a lot. Look at you. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, Rachel's so you. good, guys. You're so lucky. Um, anyway, if you do have varying sizes of shiplap like I do, then just space them out. Um, don't put like two really wide ones next to each other or two really skinny ones next to each other. Have fun with it. I think there's a good balance between think through it but don't overthink it. Right. You know? And one thing that I like... You see right here how it doesn't touch right here? I love that. I think that's good. That's part of shiplap. Yeah. I mean, if it does touch all the way, it doesn't look like shiplap in my opinion. It looks like one solid back piece. So yep. it honestly, if you wanted to, you could stain the wood and then kind of paint over it and then rough up those edges so it looks even more intentional, kind of rounded even, um, and just sort of accentuate those spaces in between. So I like that. Um, and then we're gonna do 
this guy here and this guy here and then we're just going to go around and staple all the way around make sure um, that when you cut these back pieces that there's enough overhang so that you're not almost like accidentally getting too close to the inside of the frame hopefully that makes sense yeah Sometimes you I don't like want to have nails you don't want to look at nails at the front of your frame. Right, yeah. absolutely. No, no. Okay, this may take a minute because it's just a big frame. Oh, it is echoing. That door yeah, it's so loud. Mm. A little rotator here. That is going so fast. I'm trying. But that's how easy the staple gun is. Like it's, it, I'm not struggling at all. Yeah, that's loud and fast. Perfect. Yay! Love it. There we have that. And see, you see all the spaces in between? Oh, I like Looks that. Looks so good. Yeah. Don't be afraid of spaces. I had to look at it. I had to look at it vertically. Makes a difference. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is take, I'm gonna put that in the floor, and then grab these guys, and then just make a circular pattern with these. So I'm gonna hot glue tail to top, all the way around using my Lynn Lily, of course, putting the stems underneath if you can. Becca, you know, some people are blessed enough to have a magnolia tree in their backyard. Oh, that makes me so jealous. We have um, space in our front yard, like down toward the, the road, not, not, not like right up at our house because I'm weird about putting trees right next to my house with the roots and all that stuff. Um, anyway, I am definitely, my, my dream has been from the very beginning to put a magnolia tree um, in our forever house. And so that's on the horizon. They're so beautiful. They Gosh, are. The flowers on them, they're just gorgeous. So just sort of angle as you go. You don't want them to be in a straight line because you won't make a circular pattern at that point. Um, I ordered that staple gun and love it. Yes, Shannon, it's such a good one. And it holds, I like that it holds a lot of different lengths of staples, which you wouldn't yes. know that. How are the frames staying together or did y'all buy those? Oh, fantastic question. Um, Rachel probably dropped a link earlier, but I'm sure she'll do it again. We have a course on um, making these frames and um, it's with an air a nail gun. That's how they're Attached. fashioned yeah. together. Thank you. Um, I thought I saw another question. Michaela said, I hate the staple gun my husband has. It hurts my weak little hands. Well, honey, get you a get you a new one. Because you don't have to use life his. is too short. Don't use his <laughs> to have her hands from a staple gun. Exactly. We have a couple of staple guns here, I think, but that's yeah. the only one that ever gets used. Um, well, guys, the only reason we have other staple guns, sorry to cut you off, Becca, no, you're fine. is because sometimes we need our staple gun to uh, hold extra long staples. And Good point. that one, the um, arrow fastener, won't hold super big ones. So we have a couple that'll hold some pretty uh, pretty substantial size, but that's about the only reason we would use that. Good point. So guys, the only reason this is taking a little bit of time is just because I need it to dry in between before I move them. But you can see it's super easy. Um, what I was going to say is, do you guys realize that tomorrow is font launch Thursday? Are you it's very excited? It's an exciting excited? day. Guys, Rachel made this project. You are going to flip over. Like, absolutely flip over. Me and Tanner and Courtney are all like, who are you? Oh, my Lord. How, honestly, it's, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you. She made from scratch a crate. From a, scratch. A, a, I mean. I love that. I mean, she cut the wood. She didn't, like, make the wood. No. She cut the wood. Jesus made the wood. 
Um, he did. He did. He did. Anyway, we were floored. It like like it looks store bought, amazing, oh, you guys beautiful are so finish, sweet. and what she did with it, it, it's just so cute. You guys are gonna love it. So that's. I'm not telling you anything about the project, just that she did that. Um, super cute. I'm trying to think of the, oh, there's a recipe theme something. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotta have uh, that. Ooh, and a fun wreath with some felt elements. Ooh, it's cute. Oh, it's so cute. That's the only one. I only did one project from this release, guys. But that's because, if you remember, for that amazing Christmas party and Christmas in the July party, Becca did every single one of those. Yeah. So, so Rachel, she deserves a break. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm very excited for you guys to see him. Tanner, Tanner, the plan is for Tanner to show you guys uh, that launch tomorrow. So yeah. get excited. Make sure you're here. I'm trying to make this bigger than I made the other one because I know that this frame is huge. But the other thing you want to think about, and I didn't think about it until just now, is you don't want it so big that this looks lost in. Oh no! Just, just whack them off. It's well, fine. no, I have you another. Can pluck them. I think what I'm gonna do is. Do we have time? What time is it? It's only two o six. Okay, bear with me, friends. We can chat some more. Throw out some topics. Ask Rachel personal questions. She won't mind. <laughs> sure. Like, <laughs> give them to me. Come Lay them on, on her. Lay them on me. <laughs> Um, We're all family. I'm gonna here. do another one in the middle here and kind of double layer it. Sure. If you guys are okay with that, if you don't want to see it, let me know and I'll move on. I won't be hurt either way. Guys, if Becca had a magnolia tree in her yard, it would always be bald. <laughs> it would be a bald magnolia tree. Guys, one I can't decide if my favorite flowers are hydrangeas or peonies. Peonies, however you want to say it. Don't hate me. Um, but. Uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. My neighbor, who is a single male, he rents his house across the street from me. There's no way he appreciates them. He moved in, and there's this ginormous, amazing, gorgeous hydrangea bush. Oh, I, love I hope hydrangeas. he appreciates it. I envy that bush every morning when I walk out my door and see that. I'm like, oh, I just want those flowers. It's and so beautiful. here's the problem. I have a couple of hydrangea bushes, which mine are very young because we only moved in 18 months ago. Um, and, the, you know, when they're very little, they, you just don't get a lot of flowers out of them. But the flowers I do get off of them, I pull off. I pull yep, off yep, everything inside. Yep. See, I know her, guys. I do. Well, it would I be, would appreciate them inside. It would be a bald magnolia tree. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for the part that I can't reach. You know, you know what I mean? Have they asked you any fun questions? Let me see. Oh, we got one from Jen that okay. we both can answer. I love this Okay. Uh, what type of projects bring you the most joy? Oh. I don't think we've ever been asked that. Well, no, That's nobody, a very kind. Nobody cares enough about nobody us. Nobody cares about what brings us joy. That's no, a lie, because we know you love us. Yes, you do. Rachel, I, you can answer first, I so I have time to think. I, even though sometimes... I try and tackle a project I'm not excited about. At the end of it, I usually will find joy in some kind of aspect of it. Just, you know, either I've learned something or I've overcame a fear or something like that. But I think the ones that bring to me the most joy, don't hate me, are the super sentimental ones that are like about me and my husband or my family or something like that. And they're almost always the ones where I use fonts because that's how you can make them more personal. So just kind of the personal ones. There's one I made, oh gosh, probably like a year ago. I forget if Becca was here or not, maybe longer. And it was the best days of, of our lives. And it was with fonts and it was really pretty and it was all of the dates that mean something to James and I. I love that. I just, I like stuff like that. And like Becca made one with an embroidered hoop wreath and like a printable, Iron on with her home. Yes. Oh, just stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do love sentimental things like that for sure. Things that you can't buy um, because they're custom. Yeah, I sort of agree with that. Um, I also am really weird. Well, it's weird for me here, which is why I think I sort of fit in pretty good. Um, I love felt projects. Like, love, love, love felt projects. Oh, Becca's like the felt queen. Yeah. Guys, I have this project. Oh, my gosh. I'm already planning for Fall Summit, and it's felt-related. Uh, I made a super cute cut file for it. 
Uh, Y'all are gonna die, it's so cute. Anyway, I love that and I'm really, like, I'm not a paper crafter, so don't think that I'm saying that, but I really like to make and design cards and teach you guys those, it's so fun. Um, what ATG gun do you guys recommend? Ooh, oh, you already answered. <laughs> Rachel's quick. I am. Magnolia trees grow very slowly. I know, Lisa, they do, but here's the thing. I, um, at Costco, who would have thought you could buy a magnolia tree at a Costco? Wait, <laughs> you can? Exactly, right? They had this huge magnolia tree for $80, and I'm kicking myself for not buying it, but I did live in my old house, so, like, I would have had to leave it, and I think that would have been traumatic for me. But, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm willing to, um, live through this slow... I got one. What was the name of the shampoo, Rich? Look at you. Gosh. Rachel. I'm on a roll. You are on a roll. And I was going to say, Miss Becky, that's my mother's name. You'll be easy to remember. Yeah. Um, I love that stuff. Me and Becca do. Milkshake is a great brand. Phenomenal. Lather it up right when you get in the shower. And then do all your normal stuff. You know, shave and, you know, just wash your body. Whatever you do. The longer you leave it in your hair, the better it works. Yes, and for sure. the shower is gonna look like you murdered a Smurf. It is, but it's totally fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna look awesome. And your hair might be a hair purple right when you get out, like the first day or whatever. But it, it takes all of that brassy out. I use it once a week. It's it's perfection. It's great. So the first time that we mentioned it on a live was a total like just random, so funny. And so we took I text Tanner and said. If you get a ton of affiliate money from this um, yeah. purple shampoo, me and Rachel get that. We get like, a cut. That has nothing yeah. to do with you. No. That's, that's not us. crafting. That's <laughs> us selling milkshake. I said, but don't be surprised if you get an influx for a purple shampoo. <laughs> okay, so guys, this turned out really cute. I, I was skeptical about the two, the two um, not layers, the rings. What would you call them? I, I think it's kind of layered. I think it looks cute. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm probably just going to hot glue it on. Now, if you wanted to change this out, do not hot glue it. Get like a C hook or something like that and um, just hang it on there. But I'm gonna hot glue it. You know what, this might need to hang in our office somewhere because it's big and we don't have a lot of decor. It's so pretty too. It's pretty. Okay. This is the part that could be challenging because I'm not sure if it's going to work partly because of where I'm going to have to put it. So let me show you the back of this one. Oh, you know what? Problem solved. I'm just going to take this one off. Um, I have this little thingy on the back of this one that just nails into there or you can push it on there. Um, I'm just going to push it on there because I didn't bring a hammer in here. Just use some root strength there. And then it just pushes in because I had the little doodads on there. And I did not get that even. Oh, my goodness. And then we will just hook it on there. Or we could use a nail either way. Whichever one. Here's my problem now is that I have this extra layer right here. And this needs to go right here. So I'm going to have to, like, screw through here or find a hole or something. So give me a second here. And I'm going to have to pull this up here. And Becca, while you are doing that, Miss Gracie wants to know, is the member-only video for the Bitmoji stickers out yet? Yeah, it's on our Facebook page. Look, um, I'm trying to think. It's been, it's been out for a couple of weeks. Yeah. If you, um, do you use Facebook for... Mobile desktop, or do you use it for your mobile device? Because I'm going to help you find it based on your answer. This is not going in, and I did not bring pliers. How does... Poke a hole with the pokey tool. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's like, how do you... I said that. Sacrifice the pokey tool. It's okay. Yeah, we got plenty. We're we good. Do. Good, Rachel. I'm glad you're here. I'd be here for another 30 minutes trying to get this stupid thing in. It's fine. Listen, teamwork makes the dream work. You're doing plenty right now. I'll help you where I'm I can. I'm struggling over here. I'm yeah. getting ready to start sweating. 
I use purple shoe with egg and on my gray hair water. Yes, it does. They need what kind of um, silver or purple or whatever, however you want to call it. What brand do you like to use? Yay, we got it. So then this little guy, in theory, let's poke him out here, is going to hang from the little hook. Or now, guys, I know it would have been easier, but I didn't do that. There we go. We can do this. Oh, it's the wrong way. Just give me the front. I'm, sir. I'm flipping Let's it to you. Let's just do this. <laughs> Yay! We struggled. We got it. Whatever. Oh, it's so cute. So the moral of the story is work with what you've got. Make it work. Um, pokey tool. Did Courtney start that? A pokey tool? I don't know. It was probably me. It's a weeder tool. And we get hate for not knowing our quote unquote cricket terminology. Here's we know thing, it we all. We know the terms. But if that's what we say around the office, that's what we're going to shout to each other when we need it. You know, get the, get the pokey tool. Yeah. And it's just what it is. Yeah. Which font is the middle line on uppercase E is more toward the bottom? Huh? Huh? This is a file, not a font as well, Miss Carol. Is in the middle line on uppercase E. I don't see an uppercase E. Upper, uppercase I e. have found the one my soul. Am I reading the question wrong? I'm so sorry. Which font is, is in the is middle it line? The the is it V? V. Oh, v? this kind of looks like an E. Is that it? Is that what you're talking about? That's an yeah. L. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm Middle so line. sorry. Oh. But this is a cut file. Yeah, it's not a font. I wish this were a font. It's so beautiful. The Bobby po said, the pokey tool. Finally, someone speaks my language. <laughs> so funny. See, we're real crap. We are. Here. Judging. Anyway, I'm going to put this down because it's heavy. And then just talk to you guys. Do you have any questions? Do you, do we have any? Thank you, Adrienne. That's so sweet. She said, super fabulous, Becca. Yes. Guys, we've had a train. Our little puppy over here has been mad all day. You hear the puppy? I don't know what happened to him today. He woke up on the wrong side of the crate, I think. I don't know what happened. Not in this project, one of the MGL fonts. Mm, I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to catch live videos again. How often do you go live? Fantastic question, Shannon. So right now in the summer, we go live on Mondays. Now, this is tentative because it is summer and, you know, we have lives. But the tentative schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we go live. And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, we give you guys an organic, which means pre-recorded video, um, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. Nadine, I love your purple here. I dye mine purple once a year. I, mine's about once a year, too. Isn't it so fun? I love, like, the fade-out process of purple because when I started this, it was, like, purple, purple, like, really bright. And I haven't used, I have this um, purple conditioner called Overtone, which is just like a tinted mask that just keeps purple or whatever shade you choose um, kind of bright and vibrant. And I haven't used it so that it would fade to more of this lavender lilac color. But I just love the fade out process with purple. That's why I choose it. Anyway, oh no, I'm in lockdown for 14 days because my daughter's a nurse has the, oh. We're so Patty. sorry. Is she Patty? doing okay? I'm so sorry. First of all, thank her for us, yes. for being a nurse, and for being on the front line with all those people. I'm so sorry she contracted it. That is awful. But I, I, I'm sure she will make a full recovery. I'm sure she's yeah. a warrior. Well, yeah, I'm praying sorry. for you guys for sure, and your sanity for being locked up for 14 more days. But yay for more crafting time. That's true. Gracie uses um, Facebook on phone or tablet. So uh, if you go to the top of the Facebook app in Makers Gonna Learn's group, uh, then you'll see the albums uh, option. Click albums and then in that you'll see an album called Member Only Videos. And click that video or click that album and that video is in there. I think it has a thumbnail actually of this uh, maker. I think that's the thumbnail. I can pull it up. Go to that overhead camera, H, please. I'm all going. Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. I'm on my mama's Facebook here. Maker's gonna learn. Patty said she's doing good. Look, Rachel, I reached it. I reached it. Oh, did you grow? I so? grew. Did you grow? I think the table's not as high. Oh, Becca. Now I have a hernia. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> okay, so up here you'll see um, under albums. There's albums, and then we've got member only videos here. And you can scroll down and see right there. Yeah, it has a thumbnail there of the maker. Bill, and so I was really excited to make it a Yay! member only video for you guys too. Anyway, people. there it is. Hopefully you find it. What can I use to lighten my really dark hair? I want to get it to a medium light brown. Unfortunately, Michaela, the only thing that you can use, especially, do you have uh, color on your hair right now? If you have color on your hair right now, like a box dye or a, um, or you know, even if it's professionally dyed, then the only thing that you can do is use bleach, so lightener on your hair. Um, I even get my hair bleached, and my hair is, yeah. is pretty darn light on the spectrum of light so if you have virgin hair then a lot of times there is a high lift color that you can use um, it will generally only lighten about two shades so you're probably not gonna get a medium brown out of that so unfortunately you're gonna need a lightener which I use I use bleach on my scalp every single time I do my hair so it's not that big of a deal but it's not necessarily something you want to do by yourself because you don't want an orange splotchy hair I I think you're gonna have to start giving Tanner. hair advice now. I eat Tanner. Oh my oh, gosh! They just guys. ran into Sally's Beauty Supply next to Walmart last year and got some toner and stuff. And Taylor DeBoer did a number on him. But hey, they got well, a fix. Taylor thinks he's a hairstylist. That he boy does. can do some and makeup Tanner though. Let him. Man, he can do some makeup. Dang, he can. He's, he's really good, good at that. Makeup. We had our photo shoot when I first started here, and I pop in, you know, with my homemade makeup on. I'm not really good at makeup. Anyway, either. and Rachel and Courtney look like freaking superstars. And I'm like, where the hell was my invite? Oh, baby. <laughs> Why do I look like this? They looked amazing. It's fine. Nobody cares. <laughs> I only do it when I have to. Man, he's good. He's he is really good. good. He's doing Courtney's we um, wedding makeup, and I'm stoked. She, yeah. she is awesome. Well, she's gorgeous anyway, but then oh, of Taylor just does so good. Yeah. Catherine, I would love to give hair advice. I can talk hair all day. I did it for eight years. I just love it. I didn't do hair eight for years. I talked hair for eight years. I sold lots of products, too. I think because Cor uh, Becca watched for eight years, she probably could do some stuff, though. I bet. I bet <laughs> Becca could. She's like, a, she's like an honorary cosmetologist because of the eight years of watching she's done. Because the professionally done two times, yeah. So like your ends and stuff, even if you have some new growth, your ends will still have that old color on it. So you will need to um, lighten. What they can probably do is a bleach cap or like a soap cap, which basically means they can um, combine some shampoo and lightener together. Um, it's a less um, harsh, har thank you, yeah, a less harsh process. And they can generally, though not always, do it in uh, just like the shampoo bowl and get you lightened decently. It just depends on what your start and finish goals are. Um, I don't see any more questions. I don't either. I do want to point out if you are a new subs or a new viewer of Makers Gonna Learn and are a Makers Gonna Learn member uh, for our membership. You guys need to become a member. Our membership is so amazing. Um, it gives you all of our cut files, all of our fonts, and we update those almost weekly. So we do two cut file collection launches and one font cut file collection launch every single month, um, which makes our numbers grow exponentially very quickly. We have over 4,000 cut files now and over 400 fonts uh, that are available to our yearly members. And then we also have access to um, our private Facebook group, which is probably my favorite feature of our um, membership. We also have a free commercial license. Oh, and guys, we did get some clarity. I don't know, I can't remember who asked the question, but if you are watching, we got some clarity on the um, the commercial license rules. So um, we do have a free commercial license for you to use if you wanna use your die cut machine to create a business and make money with it, then you can do that with our yearly membership and do it legally with our cut files. There is the stipulation that you can only use each cut file 500 times. So that's total, that's on all projects to um, several different customers, whatever. You can only use it 500 times. If you use it more than 500 times, then you just need to contact our customer service department and we can work out like an enterprise type deal with you guys, which is a different sort of licensure. Yeah. Um, so now yeah. it should take you guys 
a very, yes. very long time to ever come close to reaching using one cut file 500 times for selling purposes. Right. Yeah, right. that doesn't count like you give one to your sister, personal use license for her birthday, but if you sell 500 right. of one right. cut file, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we just, I just wanted to get that little bit of clarity. I forgot that we had talked about that. Um, anyway, so you do get the free commercial license. You get three free e-courses, which if you are new to Cricut are really amazing. They help you with design space, getting to know your Cricut. Um, and then also are uh, designing a business or what's the actual title? It's totally left me. Business how with to your build die a business. machine. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. How to build your business with your die cut machine. Super fantastic course. Um, you also get access to member only videos and all kinds of wonderful things. So like I said, if you are not a member, go ahead and join our membership. We would love to have you crafting with us on so many different levels um, and enjoying our awesome library of cut files and fonts. So we need to keep track of how many times we use it. How would you recommend doing that? I probably won't ever get there. I mean, I think if you're running a business, you should keep track of your orders and that probably includes you know, the product you use and the file you use, in my opinion. So, um, I don't know. I would probably just write it down, have it entered into some kind of system, Google Sheet, whatever, however you want to organize your business. However you have those receipts or whatever for those orders and invoices, whatever, yeah. I'll just include it there. Pablo, the 500 is lifetime. It's not per year. Um, do you guys prefer Square or PayPal for taking payments online or at like craft fairs and working on starting a business with my mom? I love the design make sell course. I got pros and it's helping me a lot. My personal preference is Square. I love Square because it comes with a little reader and you can swipe cards. You can also enter them manually or you can invoice. Um, the rate for Square is pretty decent when you compare it to other things. Um, Although when you go to craft fairs and stuff, I personally, I'm not saying it's better than one thing or the other, but personally I think that the population in general are more comfortable with Square because it's like, Over here's PayPal. my card, you know, it's, yeah. it's not. Well, well, a lot of people don't have PayPal. I was shocked. Yeah. I thought everybody had PayPal, but I have friends that are my age who are like, no, I don't have that. Like, what? Anyway, uh, yeah, so Square or like Stripe or something like that, that you can actually swipe a card in is my preference. I personally have used Square and that's why I like it. Like I said, it does have uh, some pretty, um, some pretty great fees like you know we looked at all the different surcharges and fees and all of that stuff and it seems to be um, the lowest that we have found it's super easy to invoice it's super easy to keep track of you know orders and addresses and it's just anything like that so that's just my preference and Becca we have another incredible question to yeah. get some clarification with Miss Megan says do fonts fall into that 500 limit <laughs> I don't see how that could. I don't see how it could either because you're I talking think it's about just cut files. you're talking about the alphabet there with a font. But I guess if you use said font 500, see, I don't know. But Megan, now I'm going to have to ask about that. We're going to have never to get all these the questions. info. Yeah, you guys are just getting so smart on us. We appreciate it. That's you're, a great question. You're really I will find out, Megan. Us. I definitely will. I like Square or Venmo. I also love Venmo, but I'm surprised by how many people don't have Venmo either. I, my, Here's I my thing, guys. If you can't pay me with a check, cash, PayPal, Venmo, or Apple Pay, we probably don't need to be friends. Like I, I can write a check for you, right? Becca. <laughs> I just don't understand why we need all of these. And, and Venmo and PayPal are like owned by the same people or are associated or something, so I don't understand why there are two different... Uh, Drives me crazy. I have things that I pay for with PayPal, but I've never like. I use seen Apple Pay the most. Money. I love Apple Pay. Never figured that out. Tried Venmo, couldn't get that. Figured Venmo's out. not my favorite. Although I do like to look at like the news feed of Venmo's, like where my friends and I'm like, God, you pay her a lot for eyelashes or. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just anyway. I've used Venmo like, I think I paid Taylor to board to watch my dogs and paid somebody else to do something like three times. That's it. I don't know. The camping flag you made on your Facebook page was that sublimation. It was not sublimation. It was a print and cut. Now I'm going to tell you. I love print and cut, especially on like HTV and stuff for shirts. But for whatever reason, it did not last very well on my camping flag. I'm going to have to redo my camping flag. Uh-oh. Yeah. Like it faded really quick. 
and the sun and the rain and all of that. Oh, so yeah. it faded really quickly. And I didn't seal it or anything because I wouldn't think to seal, a, you know, Prenthica HDV. I'm going to have to revisit that. I like that you asked that. I like Venmo because it is instant and free. Yes. Um, do we have any other questions? I think you you grabbed it all. I think you got them. Well, that is sad. It is sad, Catherine, because I love that flag. Maybe it had a can... really cute, bright, beautiful rainbow on it. Why don't we let we should seal it with outdoor Mod Podge? Because there's cool. outdoor Mod Podge. There is. Oh heck yeah! Let's try that. We have some. It's orange. It's in like the orange bottle. I'm willing to try that because it's Mod Podge will still like move around when it's dry. Yeah. I and mean, then it might look a, a little bit weird, but hey, it's worth a shot. Catherine, if I forget to update you, ask me because I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know how it worked. I have a camping trip the night through the twelfth, and so it'll be a great time to test it. Also, I could leave it outside, but. <laughs> It needs to be in the real environment. That's, that's not a good controlled <laughs> test, Becca. Exactly. Yeah. It's not It's not authentic. The variables aren't where they need to be for that. <laughs> oh, gosh. How quickly does Square pay you as the vendor once you swipe the customer card? Is there a waiting period or is a deposit made to your business? You, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, because it's been a couple of years since I use it as my business, uh, but you could do a couple of different options. So there was more of a fee if you wanted it instantly. Um, otherwise, I think it was in my account the next day. That seems correct. I have all the apps. PayPal, Cash, Venmo, Zelle. What is Zelle or Zelly? Have you even heard of that one? No, I have not. I'm not into the techie stuff. What? Wow. Venmo is awesome. My family uses it all the time to reimburse each other different expenses. See, yeah. all of my family has the same bank, TVA, credit so union here in East over. Tennessee. And you have... Um, you can just, it's called send money. That's yeah. literally what it's called. Yeah. You enter in a phone number and you can send any phone number up to, I think it's like 500 bucks. And all they do, like when you tap on the link in the text, all you do is enter in your debit or credit card information and it slides it right into your account, regardless if you have TVA or not. So I can send you money or whoever money. That's, it's, it's like the most secure thing for me. I like it. See, but, my husband and I have different banking accounts. Like, and don't judge like it just works for us we've been married 13 years and it works out great he has access to mine i have access to his but his is at first tennessee and mine's at tba uh -huh. his is lame and i cannot his get it to lame. switch over yeah because see TVA james and i have separate bank accounts but we're both at tva yeah no. i don't know i mean I'll like be... i said he has access to mine and i have access to his right our, yeah uh -huh. uh, we do have a joint savings account and so that's at TVA too, but like our our car loan, our camper loan are all through TVA. It would be easier if he was there too. Yeah, he's old. He turned forty three yesterday. He's oh my old and gosh! Set in his ways. Oh my gosh! He is. Nuts. I only say that because he's ten years and five days older than me. I, I love that you have to add in the five days. Yeah, five days. That makes him more than ten years older than me. Ten years and five days. Ten years, five days. Uh huh. Happy birthday, Wayne. You've not watched in a long time, so I hope you're watching right now. If you are, give me a thumbs up. Oh my god. And gosh. like my video. Oh, Becca. <laughs> Locked by Wayne Oaks. Anyway, uh, if you guys don't have any more questions, I love this chit chat. This is like my favorite part of it. I love to craft, but I love just talking to you guys. It's so much fun. Um, if you don't have any more questions, then we're gonna skedaddle. But make sure you tune in tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let's talk about our awesome font launch, the new projects. Tanner will be here. He hasn't been here in a while, so he's going to be super pumped and have lots of energy, I'm sure. Um, and it's going to be a good time. I might, I might sit in on that one because I think Rachel will co-host, but I, I might sit in on it. We'll yeah, see. sure. Well, you're welcome to. That means Becca's birthday is coming up. It is. It's it coming is. up on Sunday. It is, and I'm going to the melting pot again. I'm yes, so Becker, you deserve it. That's two melting pot trips for this one birthday. Oh my god! I know, I'm stoked. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. I've had a blast today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good evening.